Any technology is a double-edged sword. Any technology, one side of the sword, can cut against disease, ignorance, poverty, illness. The other side of the sword can cut against people as well. And so we have to make sure that we control this powerful technology. The three drivers of wealth generation in the near future will be one, artificial intelligence, two, biotechnology, and three, nanotechnology. A combination of these three technologies will generate enormous wealth and prosperity in the future. But let's not be naive. There's also the problem of nuclear proliferation, global warming, and the possibility of germ warfare. And so these are three technologies that could negatively impact on humanity. Artificial intelligence, I think, will become an industry bigger than the automobile industry of today because your automobile will become a robot. You will talk to your car. You will argue with your car. Your car will park itself and monitor itself. Your car will become a robot. But the danger is that robots at some point could become self-aware. That is the tipping point. Robots today do not know they are robots. Robots today have no idea that they are robots. They may have that awareness by the end of this century. At that point, they could become dangerous when machines become self-aware. But I think that's not going to happen till the end of this century. And meanwhile, the robotics industry will become bigger than the automobile in industry of today. A hundred years ago, Thomas Edison and Henry Ford had a contest. Which technology would dominate the future? Thomas Edison said it would be the battery. Henry Ford said it would be gasoline. Everybody laughed at Mr. Ford. They thought the answer is obvious. Edison will win. Because who wants to have a gas station on every block? Gas explodes. It creates fires. People will die every day if we have gas stations everywhere. Well, we all know who won the bet. Ford won the bet, which means that every day somebody dies in a car accident and is burned alive. Every day we tolerate gas stations on every block because Ford was right. But in the long term, Edison may also be right. But the problem is storage. The battery is the key problem facing solar and wind power. How do you have solar power when the sun doesn't shine and wind power when the winds don't blow? The bottleneck is storage, the battery. But that's where new inventors are coming in today. Now, for the first time in a hundred years, Hundreds of inventors are pouring resources into the battery. That is the bottleneck that has prevented us from having a solar age and renewable technology in our backyard. So the price of solar of uh, batteries has gone down 7% per year. That could eventually open up a new era of energy. Plato, 2,000 years ago, believed that society would ultimately be controlled by philosophers. However, we know that philosophers are very bad at controlling power, resources, answering the needs of a growing population. And that's why I don't think that society will be divided along those lines. But the key to the future is education. We have to educate our people so that we don't split into smaller groups that will eventually war with each other. Because technology is not going to go backwards. Technology will only go forwards. Things will become more complicated in the future. And we have to educate our people, a primary emphasis on education, so that they can meet the challenges of the future. For example, artificial intelligence. The, the two groups that are the main losers in artificial intelligence are A, repetitive workers, B, middlemen, college-educated middlemen. For example, stockbrokers. 
People can buy stocks on their wristwatch today. You don't need a stockbroker. So why do you go to a stockbroker anyway if you can buy stocks on your wristwatch? The answer is you want intellectual capital, advice, knowledge, experience, innovation, talent, foresight. That's why you go to a stockbroker. You want something that robots cannot provide, and that is intellectual capital. Capital of the mind, rather than capital of the hands. And that's why we have to educate our people so that we don't split apart into the categories that you mentioned. We hope you found this video valuable. Let us know what your opinion on all this is down in the comments section. And don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this.